Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior, and today we're going to be doing a Newbie Warrior plays of Modern Combat Versus. This is a mobile game that made by Gameloft. It's a free-to-play first-person shooter that was also released on Steam. It is sort of a class-based, hero-based shooter. Uh, there's no customizable loadouts. You can see in here there's different operators. Um, you can tell it's a mobile game right away because they didn't change the menus at all. Everything is click and drag like it's a touch screen. Uh, the monetization system is very much from a mobile game. Random pop-ups like, wow, I can play in groups with my friends, thanks. Um, so there's rewards basically for completing matches. Uh, you get like, here's a free crate with 10 gold in it. Or... The way you level up characters in this game is very much a mobile game. Basically, the, the progression and menus and balance, it's all balanced for mobile. But the mechanics are surprisingly not even that bad. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hop into a couple of matches and show you guys what it looks like. So, there's no, there's no crouch and there's no jump. There's a weird auto mantle thing with spacebar. But... Yeah. This game doesn't seem to have a lot of the weird mouse acceleration that a lot of other mobile to PC ports seem to have. Is this a charge rifle, or how does it work? Oh, that's not even a rifle. I thought it was like an... So it's got like a... I thought it was a sniper class, but it's, uh... It's like a... Almost like a minigun, because it's taking time to spin up. I think he just used his ultimate on me. Yeah, so there's different Asian agents uh, you can play as. This guy's not very good. I hadn't played him yet. But yeah, as you can see, the game actually runs and looks pretty good. Worth noting, this game is also cross-platform play to Android and iOS. And as far as I can tell, there's no real way to distinguish who's using what. But, actually, in terms of recoil and, uh, like, actual weapon handling and settings and visuals, it's better than a lot of PC games that i played, honestly. What is sort of interesting is how the game handles its ranked system. Yeah, we didn't play very well. I don't like that other guy. How the game handles its ranked system, because every match does give you trophies, which adjust your rank, which I guess isn't a unique concept on mobile, but because this is a PC title and we're analyzing it as such, so you can see now I'm Platinum League. Okay, so you get XP, which makes your character just better, which is pretty annoying considering, uh, like I said, every match of the game is ranked, which I think is cool and reduces the stress of, like, queuing up for ranked in a game like Overwatch or Call of Duty. People have, you know, queue anxiety or whatever you want to call it, where they're scared to play ranked because they're scared of losing ranked. If the game just is ranked, then you don't have that problem. That said, obviously, it's not so great here is that you can spend real money to level up your character to give them, you know, like, 10% more health. But, yeah, it's, uh, let's see if we can. Okay, I don't know where he's going. Oh, we're playing bad. Let's see if we can get a kill here. This guy's really spongy. Oh, we almost got him. As you can see, yeah, it's... I'd be lying if I said the game wasn't pay to win. Uh, I don't know where that guy went. Yeah, this is an unfortunate place to be. Oh, there's a guy behind me that's like a poison 
guy. He has a really bad slow effect. Let's go ahead and give Minu a try. She's a very fast SMG character. Her damage is not great though, so we'll see. Oh. Oh, I need to kill this person. There we go. I don't know who's- oh. It's the toxic guy that's on there with me. That's unfortunate. Colt. I wish it had been somebody else. I think we lost this one. Colt is very hard to deal with on this uh, game mode. Gotta figure out where he is. I, I got sniped. Yeah, we gotta focus. I gotta focus the cult. Because he'll kill our whole team pretty easily with that slow. No, no Robin. Hopefully we can kill him. Let's see if we can finish this guy. Uh-oh. They're using lots of, uh, slows and... See if we can get to the point a little bit faster. Get some contesting going on. Oh, I think he hit me with his shield. I will say the game does have lots of good achievements to go for, for various medals and completing various objectives, unlocking heroes, doing stuff with different heroes. So I do appreciate that quite a bit. So as you can see, like, this is the premium currency only. You earn a little bit of it from playing. That's about what I got from 10 hours of playing. But as you can see, Colt, the guy I was saying is really annoying, just melts people, has a super obnoxious gas slow, doesn't take much aim at all, sets traps. He is, uh, basically you just gotta buy him, which is unfortunate. But what I'm looking for, and I don't remember, oh, it's under black market, right? So you come in here, you spend a currency to buy XP. Oh no, I don't have enough for that. So you buy XP to level them up. You can tell this is a mobile game. Sure, we'll do that. And then, you can go to the character. <laughs> in your character select screen. And then you can spend your other currency. Oh, the same currency. That's right. Then you can spend this currency to just give yourself more health. And armor and you know like higher damage ability here see if we can kill him oh we could kill him but another one spawned right there okay we got two of them hopefully that's enough to get a flip we have our wall hack up again See if we can kill this guy. Maybe. Like I said, the game mechanically it's it exceeds expectations, at least for me. When you think about mobile first person shooters ported to mouse controls. Hey, look, it's cold. Someone spent money and got a better hero than me. Here we go. There's some of them that are low, but I didn't want to kill them. I want. Oh, I fell. I wanted to kill Colt. Oh. 
Maybe. No, we couldn't quite make the play. You earned this death. <clears throat> Not coming for you. Zone captured. Stay in position till I tell you. Let's see if we can kill this cult again. That's ours. Oh, that's our cult. Well, how many? Do we have more than one cult? Like, there's nothing I can do. Like, even if I play perfectly, I'm just powerless against that. That's my... That's my number one complaint about this game. I'm sure, I can get into a gunfight until... Someone runs up on me with a... Auto attack gas that slows me down. Hey look, he's behind. Keep it tight, we are contesting the zone. Extended battle! Zone is ours. Work together to keep it safe. Heads up! Zone is being the kill. A win is in sight. Maybe. Oh, he's gonna get me. what we can do. Maybe. Maybe we can win this one. I think we got it. But overall, uh, Modern Combat Versus, much better than expected. Still not worth playing. And uh, unless you have a phone, if you want to play a first person shooter on the phone, this runs very well from what I've seen, and I downloaded it and tried it, and it worked very well for me. And great on the phone. As a PC slash Steam title, not great. Wouldn't recommend it. And uh, my name is the Newbie Warrior. This has been Newbie Warrior Plays Modern Combat Versus. Thank you, and have a nice day.